All of our food and many of our everyday objects depend on soil as a natural resource. Back when most people lived on farms or in small communities, everyone knew that their food came from farms and that farms had soil. Today, sadly, folks in urban locations are often disconnected from farms and the pathways our food takes to get to grocery stores. Some growers and restaurants have started a movement called Farm to Table to help educate the public about the importance of soils and farms to our nutrition. The clay used in making pottery is a type of soil. Clay is a soil composed of very small particles. It's very sticky and it holds together very well. That makes it a great material for producing plates such as these. For thousands of years, people have shaped clay into building materials, urns, and other vessels. Most were very useful for holding food and water, but some are also decorative. Clay comes in different colors depending on what minerals they contain. Clay with no mineral pigments comes in a gray to white color, but clay with iron oxides comes in a brownish red to yellow color. Clays can also be dried and then painted or even coated with an enamel. Adobe is a type of building material used in many areas. It's made of clay mixed with other organic materials, sometimes even sand, another type of soil. Adobe homes were very common among the early settlers to the United States, as well as Native Americans. These structures are often very durable in arid regions, but may disintegrate in very wet climates. Mud and clay masks have been used for centuries to detoxify, deeply clean, and soothe skin. These therapeutic types of treatments are still given in modern spas, including hot spring soaks and mud baths. Soil is an important ingredient for many products we use, as well as being a source for our food. Let's take care of this vital natural resource, because soils sustain life. Thank <music> you.